if we look at the main driver, the dem demographical change, we see that we have less young ones and more old ones. That of course means that we have to take more t pay more attention to the elder generation, not just the elder generation in general, but let's separate the 50 years old from the 60 years old, from the 70 years old, or even people who are 80 years and older. These will be new target groups and also a person who is 55 has certain demands and not just the young generation. If we compare fun to risk, we see a clear shift from more fun activities, more social activities in the outdoor industry and less risk and maybe extreme sports and stuff like that. That's more or less just for the pros who want to be on TV or want to be on YouTube, but the general public, they want to have fun while they are outside. The wish is quite huge that people are willing to spend more time outside. That's something they really desire and they would like to do. Of course, there's this big question, will they really go outside and be outdoor and do certain things outside? They always need someone who takes their hand and brings them outside, but when, they, when the moment they're outside, they're really enjoying themselves and see that's more important in life. People want to have the free choice what they are doing. We live in a world where everything is pretty much set up. I go to work at 8 in the morning, I have my lunch break at noon, then I have a coffee with colleagues and then I come home to my family around about 6 o'clock. People want to be more spontaneous, not just during their working environment in time, but also when they have their leisure time. They want to do right at the spot. If the weather's good, they want to be outside. If it's raining, they want to come inside and spend time with friends there. So it's really a question how flexible the industry will be in the future. I think the outdoor market should really concentrate that people need certain advice and help when they are buying products. So I would really pay attention to my employees. I need best qualified employees. I maybe have him to employ another person. But people are willing to pay for this extra service. That the people who work in a store take their time to really give an advice and offer some help to the consumers. That's something the consumer wants and that's something the consumer is willing to pay for.